Um, so let's talk about a couple of results that just happened. Uh, Hero Cup just went down. Mm -hmm. yep. Team Continental Europe triumphing over Team GB and I. Mm -hmm. um, Fleetwood and Molinari, respective captains. Correct. And did anyone watch any of it? I watched a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Caught some highlights. So some people were on form. Yeah, I think, I think some players could have potentially put themselves into the conversation for the Ryder Cup, which is what this kind of event was about, I mm. think. Yeah. Um, it was a really nice idea. It was re I, I really enjoyed watching it. I like Abu Dhabi Golf Club. It's a nice course to, to watch. It helps that when you've been that you can see the whole, yeah, clang. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and Just played. Uh, play, play there a few times. You know, fly, fly shall, I, shall I tag the, yeah. Fly yeah, there, yeah, yeah, YouTube, YouTube video, video yeah. in there, why not? Um, fly there on Wednesday. You know. so, it's nice, <laughs> so it's nice to watch <laughs> golf on a course that you can sort of see and understand from when you were there. Yeah. And it was, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good event. And like I say, I think there's some guys that maybe weren't in the picture to start with that have probably played themselves into some contention and people that we would hope play well in match play situations and done very well. I think Bob, Bobby's one of those, isn't he? Bobby, Bobby did great, yeah. Bobby's one of those. Can we have second names? McIntyre. Bobby McIntyre. Okay, good. Yeah, Kieran, if you're not... Yeah. Watch it. <laughs> Kieran just refers to everyone by the first name <laughs> as if they come around every weekend yeah. for uh, Sunday lunch. Bob. Good old Bob. Good old yeah. Bob. My mate Bob. <laughs> Bob's probably listening. He, he wants yeah, to yeah. He yeah, it. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah, it was okay. I mean, I think there was several things that would have made it better. I would okay. say, first of all, that it, I didn't really see any nods or homages to the fact it's just the Sebi Trophy rebranded yeah. and rebranded. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Didn't really see any of that, which is fine. Like, it's not the biggest thing in the world for me. Um, you know, Sebi was kind of like before my time, but I think if you're gonna, if it's going to be an exact copy of an event which has just been but with a sponsor yeah. at least have a little bit of a nod back to yeah. it I mean yeah. that, yeah. that would have been nice were there um, any any big Spanish players playing this year who could have you know mm. in their interviews said you know something about Seve and his legacy and stuff I don't, mm. I don't think there was a single Spanish yeah, player yeah I don't think there was, there was no, no. John Rahm wasn't knocking about he was not knocking he about he wasn't having it I think, for I he, wasn't think he might be in Rome I reckon I think he might get there already we'll see yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Just yeah. 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 he's there he's like I'm assuming I'm in the team so I'll just go even if he fell out of the automatics he would get picked there's no way he's falling out of the autumn. No, well, I know yeah, he's no, not, he's but not, that's what I'm no. saying. That's, he's already there, whether he does one way what, or the other. What about, what about Fleetwood? Surely he's already there in the, no. in the automatics. He'll, I be, he'll I, be a captain's pick. As a Tommy Fleetwood I love, lover. I love Tommy Fleetwood. And that's not even an exaggeration. Uh, I think that he will be there, yes. But it's not set in stone. Oh, right. I, I don't know if he'll be on the, on the I don't know if he'll qualify, but he'll definitely get picked. Oh, right. I, I would say he is on... I would say he's in that second level of decent European players. Right. Like he's not he's not kind of shooed in yet. Right. He'll be there for Ryder Cup experience and, you know, having played the event before. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be big, big Tommy Tommy's one of those guys that I think kind of everybody wants to be there, but like, you know, let's remember that there's a lot of other really good players yeah, out yeah. there. Mm, yeah. And Tommy's not really won anything for quite some time. So you know, uh, excuse me. He won the Ned Bank yeah. at the end of last year, have you? Yeah. Know? He did <laughs> some great bunker play. Twenty twenty two. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that last year? Was the year before? No, was last year. Twenty two. Yeah. Completely passed me by. This is what I mean. Yeah. Mm. I thought he was slime, but obviously not. Blue yeah. Monday getting the better of you. Yeah, take me. take it all back. I'm normally pretty good with that stuff as well. Um Siwoo Kim won as well. Yeah, see with Kim. I'm not done talking about Sebi Trophy. I've got several other key points to make. He is the <laughs> same yeah. most passionate I've seen. <laughs> I, I, need to, I need to exercise some Blue Monday demons. This, this, this is the most, this is the most energy, energy you've had. I just have one, one, one question. I just, I just have one question. Is it the same trophy, or is it like has it been a rebranded trophy as well? It's not the same. Oh, it's, 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 it's a brand new event, but it's basically the same format. Yeah, I'm with you. It's just kind of like. If you're going to do an event like this, and this was one of the issues that they had last time, is that eventually it was just struggling to attract um, the kind of caliber of player that yeah. you'd want. Yeah. But you're not going to attract the caliber of player that you want unless you host it at a venue, which is going to attract some really big crowd. Mm. So Abu Dhabi, really like it, but there wasn't really that many people there watching it. Mm. Yeah, it was obviously, if you're going to have a match play event, which you want the crowd, you want you want the atmosphere to be people fist pumping, the crowd going crazy when one of their favorite players holds the putt. Yeah. yeah, it has to be somewhere where you're going to attract those crowds. And even though obviously this time of the year, the only places you can really have it are going to be somewhere kind of, warm. Yeah, kind of Middle East. Yeah. yeah, and maybe schedule wise, it wouldn't fit in to have it say in the UK or Ireland in kind of the middle of the summer. 
Like those are obviously scheduling issues which will need to be addressed. But it just felt when I was watching it a touch flat yeah. at times. Yeah. yeah. Much much less kind of hype and chanting and cheering than you would like to see then. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, the difference is with the Ryder Cup, when you watch that, the this was one of the big debates, obviously, why it wasn't held when the pandemic was going on. And Rory kind of said it. Without the fans, the Ryder Cup is not an event. Right. It's yeah. just it just yeah. wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, the fans are so powerful in those events, aren't they? Exactly. And like team sports needs crowds. Yeah. Okay. Because the whole point of having a team is that you root for one team. Yeah. 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 And when it just yeah, it's like I said, just felt that a little bit quiet, that a little bit flat. I mean, I think it was a good start. I think there was a lot of good golf being played, but yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing a few more people to watch it. Cheerleaders. <laughs> I would say passionate fans. Brass band. No. No. Mariachis. If you're in Mexico, maybe, I don't know. Mm. I don't know, something to build some excitement. So could could there be a potential that... Nick, Nick, book Nickelback. That's your peak excitement. <laughs> uh, Nickelback. Nickelback, and Mar- <laughs> Nickelback and a brass band on the You've first You've never day. been to a Mick Warwick party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I want to now. So it could, it I don't could, think anyone else has either. <laughs> it could be... Come, um, come to mind, what's the invitation? Nickelback. <laughs> I'm doing something. Like. I think that would be a draw. I think if you booked a house party and said Nickelback are playing, people would go. Away. <laughs> 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 sorry, Kieran. You, I was going to get back on... Sorry, I'll, I'll just get back on topic there. You know, so, uh, <laughs> Drag us along. Uh, drag us along, yeah. Um, what would it be if we moved that then to like sort of March time? You know what I mean? Would that be would that be better? If and then we can hold it hold it in like UK and Ireland or in Europe that sort of thing. Yeah, like I said, I think it's just more along the lines of players are probably going to be unwilling to commit to an event which sits right in the middle of yeah, their season. That's like, right. Yeah, yeah. Just dragging them out of that, but it it's what it needs to make it a success. Yeah, yeah. Or it'll just end up like the Sevy Trophy and Peter out. Yeah, the um. Ryder Cup podcast that we were listening to, yeah. which we will um, inevitably reference for the entire year in the lead up to the Ryder Cup. It's called the Ryder Cup Run. Um, and they talk about Seve's kind of influence and how his his kind of exuberance brought the fans like out yeah. in the in the 80s. And it kind of, it made the fans the like additional player on those teams. So you can see it having a massive difference if particularly like, during that pan- the, the pandemic when there was a debate about whether the Ryder Cup was going to happen or not. It made complete sense for it not to happen. But now you're like, when when we go to Rome, maybe not actually go, but you know, when the event comes to Rome. In spirit. Yeah, the, the crowds are going to be absolutely ginormous. That's going to be mental. It, yeah, it's going to be very, very sick. Yeah, it's going to be mental. Not sick. I'm not allowed to say the word <laughs> sick. It's, it's just going to be great. It's <laughs> going to be wonderful. It's going to be an experience to behold. There we go. 